Well, I, I, <clears throat> I've had an incident there. It was about five years ago. Sure, I was in a hot car, and I piled it up in front of Tobin's, oh, into Tobin's pharmacy, and I ran, and they chased me. They got the, cop, they had the cuffs on me, and when I was down laying on the ground there, they sicked the dogs on me and had me all chewed apart down there. It was just about uh, two weeks after. <clears throat> Two weeks after, they uh, had a big ride up there where one of their dogs got shot going into an apartment. Mm -hmm. And I told the officer right there, I said, that dog shouldn't have been shot, it should have been you guys. And then I ended up getting the, the, my ribs bruised up for me. Yes. I was uh, picked up one night, you know, when I was, uh, I took, it was downtown, and they took him outside of uh, the Broadway Hotel, and they were cut off his sleeves and that, and said they were going to knife him and beat the out of him, you know. And another time, they had him behind the Dairy Queen, and they beat the out of him for no reason, you know. And, they cut up the and, and stuff like this. What about other people? <coughs> uh, before the squad came around, I was beat on by uh, just like there's these two cops, that, they're plain clothes, flashlight, like that, you know. And uh, then he would, he, he, yeah, he grabbed me by the hair and he takes me up to the car and he says, uh, if you run again, you'll get it worse and all this. And then they put the handcuffs on me for about 20 minutes, you know, checked me out for warrants. I didn't have no warrants. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to state reasonable and probable grounds before they check you for anything. No way. They usually do. If they haven't got uniforms on, they don't even identify themselves. Half the time, they just jump out and check anyway. When has the, the situation developed? How long has it been going on? Years. I've had my daughter stopped on a dark street by an unmarked car with a large man in it uh, that just uh, hollered out the window, hey, come here. And uh, then he got out of the car, went over, and uh, while well, he didn't touch the girl, he loomed over top of her and tried to intimidate her and asked her this and that and the other. And when he was, my daughter was scared out of her wits, she had enough. Uh, I've been, <coughs> keep on telling them that anybody, anything like this happens, and you figure that the police tell them to come and see me, which she did, and which he did. And he came to the door, and when I asked why she had been stopped, he said because of what she was wearing, a uh, checkered a shirt, a Mackinac shirt. shirt like that. And uh, when I told him he should have arrested his, uh, the buddy that was with him, he got all huffy and took off, and I had to call down the way after him uh, what his name was. Uh, the, the two kids have with the cops. Uh, really? I mean, are they all bad? Are they some good cops? How does it work? There is a few good ones in the district, you know. They're like, they got us a baseball team and this, you know. They come up and they're really nice to us, you know. They don't even bother us. But there's a few, you know, the cynic squad, as you can put them, you know, where we'll come over and hassle you, you know. Five minutes after the good guys the come. The gun squad shows up and lays a heavy on you. Like, you're just thinking, oh, well, maybe the cops aren't so bad after all, you know. They're doing a good trip for us. Next thing you know, it's three pigs coming up, man, pushing you around, you know. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. Has anyone you know. tried to find out the uh, who, what the squad's purpose is? Like, it's a, you know, their official purpose? Yeah, yeah. they've told us. To clean up the East End, period. What do you, uh, what do most of you do? Are you students or, or what? Work. Yeah, I, I work too. Yeah. What, what's the Clark Park? None of us, gang? let's put it this way, none of us are cops, you know. <laughs> the park, you know, yeah, right. when it's not true, you know. And, you know, we're getting, a, we're getting for nothing now, you know. Anything that happens, we're getting, we're getting pinched for it. Always been gangs. Always. Even as old as I am, there have always been gangs at parks. Right. Forever. There was one at Broadway and Commercial when I was a kid, and I grew up right by Clark Park. So and Clark Park gang isn't organized, right? No. No. No, no. 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 the thing is, the attitude. No, like if they come up, like I've seen some of them come up who would talk, you know, like they're just, you know, decent people, you know, they'd come up and talk, you know. Was it police? Yeah. But then you, you, you get these, like these heavies, when they start bashing, well, okay, these guys, they're going to go out and work and so on, you know, later and all this, and, and uh, these guys are going to be, you know, like cop haters all their lives. The police force is stupid the way they're doing it because they're, they're taking the wrong approach because these guys are just going to, and they're, they're turning like hundreds of people against them, you know? And it's just like, you know, they just see them on the streets and they scream pig, you know, because that's the way they look at them. That's the way they are to them. That's the way they've treated them, and that's all they deserve from these people. What you're saying is there's no kind of organized Clark Park park game. Oh, no, no. It was, it's a nice park. It's got nice trees, and everybody goes up there, and, 
you know, I used to bring up a bottle of berry cup wine and we'd sit down and really have a nice time, you know? <laughs> you know? They're and off the street that way. They're off the street. They're up on a park there. They're together having a sauce, a good time, a few laughs and whatnot. And then just to disturb that, where the kids going to go? A lot of parents, they don't like them hanging around the house, especially during the summertime. Okay, what if the cops do approach you and want to and want to get together with you and talk things out. Is, is that a valid way of solving or things? Baseball team, they, they did come up and ask us, you know, to come into the series of baseball with other parks and that. Yeah. You know, we all, this is okay, yeah. you know, yeah. and stuff like this. They approach yeah. us in that sense, you know, but they, we never had any meetings with them. We asked for meetings and that, and we, we didn't really one. get any. We had one meeting, but nothing came of it. Well, the thing yeah. is that we can just get the right officers to come up, the right people who have got a little, a little bit of heart to come up, and they're if they're little, just a little bit educated, you know, maybe if they went past grade two or something, you know, and <laughs> they've got a little bit of sense in their heads, you know, like there really, was you know. One cop that was really nice for a while. He was a really sweet. Could sit there and have coffee with him oh, yeah. for a couple yeah. hours. You see, like when we when we hung up in the park, like okay, we had some heavy guys on our side. We had a couple of guys who were big. And when the cops come up, I'll tell you, when the cops come up, and when they said to him, his name was Max Gillis, he said, Mr. Max Gillis, sir, like this, because he was big, and they knew if they started anything, he could take on three of them. So they didn't hassle him, but these guys, okay, these guys, look, you know, none of these guys are really physically that big, but you see him against a big, you see him against a big guy, and you should see them. Sir, sir, they talk really nice, you should see them. Boy, I see them, man. That shows how, you know, what a bunch of jam tarts they are, you know? been convicted of offenses. <laughs> what, 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 well, everybody. Has. What kind of offenses? <laughs> 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 oh, hot car and theft and whatnot. That was over five years ago. I've been working since. Well, hot cars and salt and beanies. But I've been working for a year and a half, and I've got a car now. I still get hassled. See, a lot of people who are watching this are going to say, uh, why should we listen to you guys? Because if you've been in trouble. Next. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not only that. I mean, the thing is, if a person commits an offense, it should go through the courts. It should not be in the streets, a big fight over it. It should go to the courts. Like, this is the way I understood, like, democracy in the courts and all this. It was supposed to go through the courts, like I said about the goon squad. They're not supposed to beat on you. They're supposed to take you, put them in the car, handcuff you, <coughs> take you down, lay the charge, and go through the courts. You know, that's the way I, I understand it's supposed to be done. I don't know. Is that right or not, you know?